Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's Teresa, and I haven't posted in a long time. Not that I, I haven't, it's not that I haven't recorded anything, it's just that um, I just didn't have time for it. I just didn't have time to like actually upload the video, but whatever, the past is in the past. Um, it is Tuesday, there is no school today, and um, I'm just here hanging out, look a little busted, but that's okay. Uh, and I'm actually just gonna record myself cooking something because I found this recipe that I wanted to try. And before I wanna share it with people, I just wanna like test it out and make sure that it's all good. So I'm just gonna record myself cooking it and then I'll be the judge, we'll see. So thank you for sharing this journey with me. And also hello to my seventh grade percussion class because they said they were on strike until I posted a new video. So, hey. Okay, let's cook. Okay, the recipe is called Marry Me Chicken. And I will, I guess, put the link to the recipe in the description. But um, if you know me, I mean, I like cooking. But I always get a little nervous cooking for other people because um, I just like don't want to, I don't want to hurt anybody. There is this infamous story from when I was in seventh grade and um, I had like a international night with my like middle school, like world music, not world music, world language group. And we had to cook. I honestly forget what we were going to do. Like, we were going to put in gingerbread cookies or something like that. And, like, I ended up giving food poisoning to my whole family. But anyway, we're going to try our best here. So the ingredients that I need are, um, this is, the recipe is just for chicken, but I'm actually going to put it over some pasta. So I got some protein pasta. Never tried it before, but I think it's gonna be fine. Um, we need sun-dried tomatoes, and then obviously we need chicken breast, and then chicken broth. My kitchen's kind of a mess right now. I'm not gonna show you the other side because you just like deserve better than that. But um, yeah, I think, oh, and we need heavy cream, and we need parmigiano. And what else do we need? I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting some other things. Oh, I need garlic. I have garlic, I believe. Or maybe I don't. And yeah, we're just gonna try this, see what happens. Okay, I will start preparing this and I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, so we've got the chicken breasts here and I'm not gonna lie to you, this looks disgusting. So um, I'm actually gonna like, start stabbing it <laughs> um i don't really know what this does i just saw somebody um like i don't know if you guys watch those like food eating videos like the mukbangs and stuff like that um but i saw one of them preparing literally chicken cutlets and he was doing this and i feel like it helps tenderize the meat i guess but um I'm gonna do it just because it makes me feel more chefy. And while we're doing this, just know that if you're judging me, all right, I can't do anything about that. I'm just trying my best, man. But I always get scared, like, I always get scared handling raw meat because I'm, I'm terrified that I'm gonna give myself salmonella or I don't know, whatever you can get from meat. E. coli, is that a thing for me? Probably. Anyway, while I'm doing this, let me tell you recently topics that I've been really into. So I really like history. If you know me, you know that. Other than band, my favorite subject was history. Um, and I recently watched this movie called Out of Darkness in theaters and this was about prehistoric like stone age humans like the very early ones and how they go 
in search of new land, new shelter, food, all that stuff. And they encounter like some weird thing in the forest. And at first, the movie has you thinking that it is some supernatural force, which like, okay, ghosts. But it turns out it wasn't a ghost. I guess I should have said spoilers, but like, are you really gonna watch the movie? I don't know. But it turns out to be Neanderthal people. And they were like pre-human, what existed, I guess, before the first few humans. And um, they have distinct characteristics, like, you know, because of evolution, like they went extinct and all that stuff. So I've been reading a lot about them and I saw that of all the races in this world, um, East Asians share the most DNA with Neanderthals. I think it's like 2%. So like not really that much in the grand scheme of things, but because we have more than like 8 billion people on this earth, that 2% of East Asians that, you know, of Neanderthal DNA that's in this world, means that we have more neanderthal dna on earth than we ever did like even when it was just neanderthals because i mean there clearly weren't eight million of them eight billion i mean so yeah i was reading up on like where they lived what they mostly ate you know how they survived really because i mean the movie itself was showing me like, I would not survive 30 minutes if I had to live back then. I'm just like here beating up some chicken and like, would I be able to hunt? No, I don't think so. I have to get it together. Like I have to become strong. Okay, my arm's getting a little tired. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back. Like not to, this but I mean the um video because I have to focus I can't focus because I'm like holding you know trying to film this and I just like really need to be in real life right now so I'll be right back all right I'm not even gonna let you this looks bad <laughs> what is going on here I don't know also people with trypophobia are screaming right now but anyway let's season this because everybody knows chicken is nothing without seasoning. I'm actually gonna use some Sazon Goya, definitely some adobo. Um, I think I'm gonna use, hmm, polvo de ajo and pepper. Now, the reason why I've chosen these is because they're full of flavor. Um, and I read on the recipe that you don't want to do too much here because the sauce that you make is actually like already a lot of flavor. So you might overdo it, but like, I don't know. So we're just going to start with this and then see what we're working with and then continue. Okay, um, I'm gonna season this real quick. Okay, so I have the pan, um, I have the chicken. I might have over seasoned, but we'll see what happens here. So I'm just gonna um, spray a light layer of olive oil. I have like one of those little spray thingies. Um, but anyway, I'm just gonna, it says to cook the chicken cutlets first. So we're gonna do that. I hope they all fit on the pan. I don't think they're gonna fit on the pan. Oh my God, they're not gonna fit on the pan. Well, oh yeah. Okay, it's looking like chicken now, so this is good, like uncooked chicken. Um, so I'm gonna make this work, and then I'll come back when they are slightly cooked and when I start working on the sauce. 
Okay, I'll give you the bag. <laughs> please bear with me, please. You have to trust the process. All right, I would like to update. Not bad. It's 12.25. That's wrong. It's 12.25. But, um, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. I just want to also say, um, it's not that I'm a bad cook. It's just that I like what I like and I am a person who likes to stick to routines. So, trying something new can be a lot for me. Um, which is why I'm like, a new recipe? Oh no! You know? But, um, yeah, this isn't going so bad. If this goes well, putting it in the rotation. Alright, I'm gonna wait for this to finish up, and then we'll get started on the sauce. Okay, so I already transferred the other two into the um, little plate that I have. Um, these are basically done. I just wanted to make sure they're fully cooked. And now we're going to get started on the sauce. Now. <laughs> Alright, so it says I need uh, one cup of heavy cream. But I cannot open it. Hmm. Really gotta hurry here. Okay, I got it. Okay, so one cup of heavy cream. Oh! My. It smells like nothing. Okay, so I have the heavy cream here. Here is one cup. And I'm gonna stir it around. So I'm supposed to do it in the same pot that I had originally, or pan, to get like the flavor of the chicken. And then um, it says to put garlic in it, but I don't have like fresh garlic like the little cloves so I'm just gonna put um polvo de ajo and hopefully I haven't ruined this and I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit because I turned it down last time okay oh okay I mean it smells good I'm also lactose intolerant so um, I'm kind of trying this out so that I know if this is going to be a problem to eat with other people. <sighs> you know what? That smells pretty good. Mm. Okay, I'm going to let that simmer. And then let me put the heavy cream away so I don't forget. I read online because uh, I have actually never used heavy cream. Like, me personally, like, to use it to cook or bake or in a recipe. Oh my god, it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Um, so, I searched up on Google, like, is heavy cream the same thing as heavy whipping cream? Because it was just, like, different. Okay, and then it says half a cup of chicken broth. I don't know why I have to smell all of it. Just please excuse me. Okay, so half a cup. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to keep stirring. I'm going to let it do its thing. Um, anyway, so I was searching up heavy whipping and just whipping or and just heavy cream, but there's apparently no difference. But there are some brands that market them as different like objects. I don't even know. Um, okay, and then it said we have to add chili flakes. Okay, wow. Oh, and oregano. So hojas de oregano. side yeah there we go and then add some 
this, my little chicken, or turkey, I don't even know. Okay. I don't know, the sauce isn't as thick as I wanted it to be. I feel like it's, I don't want to show you. <laughs> I'm going to show you once it starts thickening a little bit. When you guys were younger, did you make the soups outside of your house? Because I always used to do that. We actually used to have, um, like, if as soon as you step out of my childhood home, on the sidewalk, there was, like, this, like, hole. Like, not all the way, but, like, just, like, an opening. And we would legit just pour, like, water, dirt, grass, flowers, everything you could think of. And we would just go on making our potions. Okay, it's, it's simmering. I am going to put some, so I put oregano. I am going to put some... Mm, Yeah, pimenton. I'm kind of making stuff up at this point, but like, I feel like that's what cooking is about. Taking risks, you know? Taking action. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and turn that. Well, it's, it's thickening. I feel like it's... Okay, it's not. Smells good, that's good. Look, let me show you. No, call me an Italian restaurant. Now, since this is starting to get ready, I guess, um, I'm gonna start making the pasta. I'm only gonna use a little bit because it's just for myself right now. So I'm only going to make a small portion in a small pan, pot, in a small pan. Okay. And this is penne. Okay, so first I gotta get the water to boil. Okay, oh well, there's a lot going on here. So I. I should have put the water to boil before, but it's fine. We're going to wait for it. While we wait for that to boil, I can see the sauce is now, it's darkening a bit in color. So this is good. And also, I think it's thickening a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and um, put the chicken back in. That's what we have to do. So let me, I don't know where my little things are. So I'm just going to use this spatula. Okay, so here's one. Oh! One chicken. Two chickens. Three. And four. Okay, and while that is continuing to simmer, I am supposed to take the sauce and start ladling it into the like chicken okay here we go not bad not bad let me yeah there we go see the sauce is not thickening like in the video i saw so like maybe i'm missing something but um that's a more oh my god just like really struggling right here but like in my defense, this is one-handed. Okay, so, boom, boom. See, it's just like not, like it's not bad, but it's not good. Let me just increase the heat a little bit. See, Google said to make sure to get heavy cream or else it wouldn't thicken. I did use heavy cream.
I don't know, guys. Maybe I should just stick to teaching. Okay. I'm gonna continue to work around here and update you. BRB. Okay, I rewatched the video. I think this is fine. Like, the way it's like... Like, I think it's gonna thicken more as it continues to cool down. Ooh, let me just... I turned the heat down a little bit. I need to put the sun-dried tomatoes in. Okay, so... Again, I got these. Julienne cut with Italian herbs. So, um, it says two-thirds of something so uh, maybe like a teaspoon i'm gonna check that out and then put them in all right so now we have the sun-dried tomatoes i needed to add two-thirds a cup and then now i think okay i feel like this is one of those dishes that looks like a lot and then like once you eat it you're like okay all right yeah <laughs> Ooh, my goodness all right and it says to just keep ladling sauce onto the chicken because we really want to like apparently the sauce is really rich Now, while I'm continuing to ladle the sauce, let me tell you about this recipe. So this recipe, like I said at the beginning, is called Marry Me Chicken. And the story behind the recipe is apparently that it's so good that um, if you make it for your significant other, the next question that they'll ask you is if you'll marry them, <laughs> which is so funny. Um, not expecting to get married with this recipe, but... I am expecting some good compliments because I'm trying. Look at this. All right. All right. And my water is boiling. So I'm going to put in my pasta right now. Again, I'm only putting in a little bit because it's only me here. And I'm gonna continue to ladle some sauce. I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Like the way that the recipe started was not great. I thought it was gonna be a flop. And it very much could be once I try it. But it's looking like Looking like this will be a hit. My biggest fear is undercooked. When I'm cooking, my biggest fear is it being undercooked. So much so that I feel like sometimes I overcook, but we're gonna try to get better. All right, and then I'm getting my pasta ready. And we're not gonna put olive oil in that. Well, I don't know, maybe a little. I heard that, um, like I know people put olive oil to prevent the things from sticking together, but apparently that's a myth. I don't know. All right. I think I'm gonna now turn this off and let it like thicken by itself. Cause look at this. Oh my goodness, let me show you this. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> I have to try recipes more often. Baking also, but baking I'm like less inclined to because I feel like I'd eat it all in one sitting. Like, I love a good brownie. All right, we're gonna let this cool down and then I'm gonna get my pasta ready and I will show you the final plating. All right, check it out, people. I think this looks really good. 
I don't give myself enough credit. I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I may think I am with cooking. This looks good. So here's the chicken breast, marry me chicken with um, a heavy cream chicken stock and spices sauce with sun-dried tomatoes over pasta al dente over my beautiful plate. I have a whole set. But no, look at this. Somebody call Chef Ramsey. He might roast me, but it's fine. No, I'm doing one of those dramatic shots. Like, <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm gonna try it and we will see if it was a success or not. I just wanted to do a final update of me actually trying the food. Um, I am sitting here now. I'm sitting on my couch because I live in a shoebox and I don't have a dining area, as you know. Uh, so I'm sitting here and I'm about to enjoy the food. I'm getting a piece of chicken, which I'm trying to do with one hand. Okay, I got it. Get some sun-dried tomato and then here's the pasta. I did that. I ate that. Literally ate that. Oh my goodness. Okay, I completely recommend Marry Me Chicken over pasta. I'm really proud of myself, like actually, because again, I usually just make the same things. I I'm very much stick to routines, but this was cool. Um, I'm going to keep trying new recipes and filming it because even if there are flops, it'll be a good learning experience. But yeah, this was great. Um, still got a lot of time left in my day, so I'm going to finish eating, then do some laundry, then work out, then drink a smoothie, then shower and wash my hair because you can tell... My hair looks greasy right now because I put hair oil on my scalp. So there's like oil all over. It's like doing its thing. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna do some work. And then we'll see if I have free time to do some painting or drawing. And then I go to bed and that's it. Or maybe I do none of that and I sit on the couch and I play Minecraft. It could go either way. So um, yeah, this was a pretty good day. I'm really happy. Uh, that's it. You know what to do. Go ahead and like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Seventh grade percussion class. I hope you're not on strike anymore. I hope this was good enough. Um, let me know what recipe you want me to try next. Maybe I can start trying recipes and using my friends and family and loved ones as my little triers. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, bye.